OK. Last one, ladies and gentlemen. All right, last one I want to go to. And to understand this, what I want to do is I want to sketch it. Now, by all means, you do not have to know how to sketch the graph. You should, but you don't have to. But I'm going to do that for a visual understanding of the graph. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to scratch this, or sketch this line, negative 4x minus 9. So I go down 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I go, um, that's negative 4. So I'm going to go up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, to the left 1. So my graph looks something like that. How can you go back up 4? Because remember, slope, it's a negative 4 over 1, right? Yeah. So that means it can be a negative 4 over 1 or 4 over negative 1. It doesn't matter. Each way, it's going to be negative. So I could go down 4 to the right one, or I could go up 4 to the left one. OK, guys? All right. So now, what they're asking us, though, is they're saying that my line has to be perpendicular to that. Jacob, oh. you should be writing this down. Perpendicular to that, that goes over 16, 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I don't even know. It's going to look something like that. It's way over there. All right? But it's going to be perpendicular. And what is perpendicular? Perpendicular does not mean parallel. Perpendicular, perpendicular means it's going to intersect. And when they intersect, they're going to create a 90 degree angle, right? Remember learning that in geometry, 90 degree angles? OK. So when they cross, they're going to create a 90 degree angle. Now, ladies and gentlemen, do these lines, my black line and my blue line, do they have the same y-intercept? No. Do they have the same slope? They have opposite reciprocal slopes. So remember, when graphing this, Jacob, I really need you just to settle down. When, remember, guys, when graphing using slope-intercept form, all we need is slope and y-intercept. So the slope is not going to be negative 4, because it's not the same. However, it's the reciprocal and the opposite, what we call opposite reciprocal. So, it's one, so it's, if one's negative, the other one is positive. If one's positive, the other slope is negative. This is different than parallel. Parallel, you take the exact same slope and write it for your new equation. Perpendicular, you take the opposite reciprocal. OK, Chase? Now, do we know what b is? No, again, right? This is, it's not negative 9. It's different. It's somewhere right around there. I don't know exactly what it is, but let's take a look. So what I can do, though, is I know that I need to write it in this format. And all I need to do is figure out what b is. Well, am I given b? No. It would be nice if I was given b, though, wouldn't it? Because then I can just write b in there. But since I'm not given b, I am given a point. So that's what I'll do. I'll say 2 equals 1 fourth times 16 plus b. Right, because that's the only thing I got, right? So now, what's 1 fourth of 16? So now my b equals negative 2. So ladies and gentlemen, my final equation, y equals 1 fourth x minus 2. So really, my line should have gone like through there. OK? All right, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm done. Yes. Yeah.